Have you ever had a loved one to be diagnosed with high blood pressure? Do you have a friend or loved one that's experiencing obesity? On March 31st, 2015, my life changed forever. My oldest son, his name was Christopher Richard Spears. He went to sleep and never woke up. Why didn't he wake up? Because he had a heart attack in his sleep. I want to share with everyone. I want to raise awareness to our family, our friends, and community. The importance of taking your loved one to the doctor. See, Christopher, he was never diagnosed. We didn't know that he had high blood pressure. And because of the obesity, because he was overweight, with the high blood pressure, it took a toll on his heart. I always would talk to him about losing weight or changing his eating habits. But he was young. So most of the time, young adults think they have a very long time. They're right. High blood pressure, hypertension, they call it, is a silent killer. I don't want you or your loved one to go through what I'm going through. Tell your loved one, go to the doctor. Or you know what they have, take your loved one to the doctor, take them yourself. Why? Because it can save their lives. It may be too late for me, but the whole purpose of me sharing my story with you is that someone else may live. When Christopher was a little boy, he was a very happy, jolly little kid. He was always happy, you know, always smiling. And I miss that. Even in his adulthood, right before he passed, many things in his life changed. But he was full of joy, always trying to strive to please and to help other people. But guess what? He forgot to take care of himself. But he was never a sickly child. And from day one up until the day he died, there was nothing you could not love about Chris and his attitude toward people. And I didn't know when he left me that Sunday that I would not see my grandbaby, I call him my teddy bear, come back home. It took us by surprise. Like I said, my, one of the worst calls you can ever receive. There's something's wrong with your child. So as we began to speed and race down 45, 290 to get to where he was, then we get to the house and you see the ambulance. Then every come, everything now becomes reality to us. Then when you actually see your son laying there, unconscious, not breathing, it becomes reality. One of the worst days that we will ever experience as mother and father. And then come to find out that he had high blood pressure and didn't even know it, wasn't even diagnosed. It's all because he never went to the doctor, so he didn't get the proper attention. So I'm honest and I tell anybody, take your loved one to the doctor, get him checked out. High blood pressure as well, I know it's a very silent killer. You can have it and not even know it. You can be walking around, not even know it. So I want to leave you with this. It might be too late for us, but it definitely isn't too late for you. I'll leave you with that. Take your loved one to the doctor. Not a day doesn't go by where we don't miss Christopher. Now, we don't think about him. We don't. He doesn't come into our mind. And it's too late for us. But it's not too late for you. Christopher, as we did not know, had high blood pressure. And I never really thought about it. I wouldn't know the danger that was lurking inside of him, which was the high blood pressure. Um, March 31st, 2015, was a very unexpected thing that happened and time kind of froze from there. I got a phone call saying that um, 
Christopher was not breathing. And of course I went over there to find that he had passed on. That day at the funeral, I was still kind of like in shock that it happened because I really wasn't used to it that he be, he's not here anymore. And I was like, what am I supposed to do from now on? Yes, I do miss him. And I miss him because uh, he's my big brother. He makes me laugh and he's just randomly funny and he just he's just cool to be around. If you have an older sibling that is probably overweight or obese, you should probably spend more time with them or maybe just take them to the doctor to see if they are okay and try to encourage them to lose weight. We need our children today in this era, the new millennium children, to be proactive with their health. It's very, very vital. It's very, very important because it's not striking people that are older, the elderly anymore with high blood pressure. It's also taking out children that are younger than uh, the elderly, 14-year-olds uh, on up, young adults like Christopher. Christopher was just 26. So I believe that being proactive with your health is very, very important. I think it. I think that it's life changing if you be proactive. I would admonish any parent to start paying close attention because now our children are eating things that are not healthy and we need to stay on top of it so we'll know what's going on. Chris laid down to go to sleep. His birthday was on the 11th uh, of that March and nobody knew that he would be dead on the 31st. At the age of 26, his heart just stopped pumping. So again, help your loved one not to experience what my son experienced. There is help available. There's doctors, there's so much resources and knowledge out there that can help you and your loved one. Had I known, I believe that Christopher would be here now. Yes, the obesity was visible, but we didn't know the other things that was going on. I'm just here to let you know, don't let it be too late. Talk to your family members. In this time that we live in, Many, many are obese. Many are experiencing hypertension, diabetes, just different things. But there are new things out there to help. Eat healthy, have a healthy balance. That's why we're doing his foundation, to help kids, young adults, and even adults. I feel that knowledge, it's power but applied knowledge is powerful. It's one thing to hear what I'm saying, but if you apply it, if you take the time out and take your loved one to the doctor, your results can be different from mine. So from a mother perspective, talk to your kids, help your kids, point them to what they need as far as they help to a doctor, a nutritionist. Don't let it be too late. It's always good to help.